being really high up on my face. What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naminga Koi for those of you who don't know me. So today we are going to talk about how you can reduce the signs of aging using makeup, how you can look youthful, how you can slash years off your look just by using makeup and hair tricks and a couple of tricks. So let's just get into the video. I rarely do makeup tutorials that I'm explaining. Um, I stopped doing that. However, I feel like this makeup tutorial can help somebody. So if you're over 35 years and you've started showing the signs of aging, like wrinkles around your eyes, wrinkles when you smile and other similar things, your eyes are drooping, watch on. Yes, because I am going to show you exactly how you can reduce the signs of aging using makeup and how you can look youthful using makeup. Yes. Not all makeup makes somebody look youthful. Sometimes there's makeup that ages somebody, like glitter eyeshadow that ages somebody. But let's just get into the video. Let me stop rambling. Yeah. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave this video because uh, there's plenty more that I normally offer. I normally post three times a week. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button in case you don't want to miss a video. Yes. So let's get into how to reduce years of your face using makeup and using these simple tips I'm trying to lay a couple of edges although this is a synthetic wig but the first tip that i'm going to give you is that you should tie up your hair in a tight ponytail i'll give you an example using a pic of how what i mean by a ponytail and i don't mean a low ponytail i mean a high ponytail and that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to tie this wig into a tight ponytail this is the reason that Ariana Grande is not aging. It's because she's always tying her hair in a tight ponytail. It doesn't mean that it will stop the signs of aging, but it will definitely reduce years of your look. And that's why she always looks young and youthful and like a teenager. That's her little secret. So make sure that you tie your hair up. And that's what exactly... Okay, we are done with the hair. This is as good as that synthetic wig is going to get. And uh, this is the kind of style I'm talking about. You can pull your hair back, specifically your natural hair. And if you don't have like really long natural hair, you can just add uh, an extension, a hair extension. Nowadays, they're all over the place. So there's even Afro hair extensions for as long as you pull your hair back. Your pulling your hair back is going to help you look more youthful because it's going to like pull your face back especially if your face has started showing drooping because of gravity so make sure that you have such a hairstyle you pull your hair back and all that yeah so next i'm going to show you the next trick that you're supposed to do so that you can look more youthful by the end of this video you won't even recognize my age you might think i'm a teenager so watch to the end the next thing that you definitely want to do in order for you to look more youthful is actually to make your eyebrows face up or basically not arc them really high like create a high arc on your eyebrows that is going to make you look more youthful because it will make your face look as if it's pulled up like this <laughs> so let's just try and create a, a high arc that's what i'm trying to explain and then you'll see what i'm talking about by the end of this video i'm telling you you will look like a teenager even if you're 35 years or 40 or 50 years of age it is possible so without doing any surgery or something of the sort let's just create a high arc on our eyebrows now because i have practically no eyebrows i'm just going to draw in some eyebrows and in the process of drawing them in i'm going to create a really high arc for them that's high <laughs> Yeah. 
As you can see, the arc is really, really high on these brows. And as you can see, I'm already looking younger. Yes, I know the brows are not the best brows because I've just used a pencil and they can slide off any minute. But I'll make sure that I shape them more with the concealer. So let me just make sure to conceal them because they're thick. Still thick, but we're okay. Yes, the concealer is really, really light, but that's the one I have, so bear with me. eyebrows are done i know they are really really thick i had no intention of them being this thick i only had the intention of them being really high up on my face almost touching my hairline because that looks more youthful next tip that i'm going to tell you is that you are going to minimize on the makeup so basically what we are only going to use is foundation concealer and a setting powder yes that's what we are going to use no eyeshadows no extremely bright eyeshadow and if you're to use eyeshadow make sure that you're using one color and the, preferably like a powder eyeshadow yes so we are basically going to do that we will use eyeshadow but we'll use one shade of eyeshadow to apply all over the eyes we are not going to use multiple shades of eyeshadow yeah so i'm just going to go in with my foundation now and I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade Warm Coconut, which I still realize is not my shade. I don't know when I'm ever going to get a Maybelline shade. I think African skin, sincerely, there'll never be enough shades, by the way, because I've tried like three shades now of this Maybelline, shades that were promising, that I've seen people similar to my skin tone use, and I still feel that it doesn't blend in completely. Okay, this one is not so bad, but still usually feels like it does not um, match my skin tone fully. I don't know. I, I'm not really used to doing makeup with like a kitamba or this thing. It feels really awkward. How do people normally manage? Do they just like put makeup on top of the, the cloth? What do they normally do? Okay, but we'll sort that out later. Because especially, okay, let me just try and fold it up. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? I was going to create a horrible line. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Just pull it back. So that at least it can like... As you can see, that is definitely not my skin tone, you see. But anyway, 
we'll just have to work with it. Okay, there we've done like uh, foundation. Now we are going to do concealer and then we'll do our eyeshadow. And I'm going to use a monochrome powder eyeshadow. Basically, uh, not glitter. The opposite of glitter is what? Matte. Yes, I'm going to use a matte eyeshadow. So avoid glitter eyeshadow at all costs. Glitter eyeshadow is aging. For those of you who don't know, if you're a teenager and all and a 20-something year old, that's fine. Because, I mean, even if you look slightly older, you won't look that old. But definitely, if you're in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, avoid glitter eyeshadow. So make sure that you're using a matte eyeshadow, which I'm going to use today. And make sure that you use it in one color or one shade. Don't, like, apply, like, red, blue. And apply our concealer. I think concealer you just apply in the normal way. Okay, I'm looking for the concealer. Where has it gone? <laughs> That's what usually happens with me. Like, sit on things. Okay. Where are you now? I've only gotten up for a microsecond and the concealer has disappeared. Okay, here it is. So I'm basically using this Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in the shade Medium. And I believe Medium is not my shade. I should have taken a dip if there was a dip, which there was none. So I'm just going to apply concealer the normal way. Like from here, just a bit, bit. I should have done my eyeshadow first, but it's fine. Okay, so let me just apply a little. I'll do the eyeshadow as this concealer big, so let me apply the concealer first. So let me just bake the concealer then do a little like shadow as you can see i'm already looking beautiful <laughs> so um i'm going to use this sasha buttercup setting powder and i'm just going to like apply it where i've applied the concealer for it to set Okay, then we are going to do our eyeshadow and I'm just going to pick a matte eyeshadow, any matte eyeshadow can do. And I'm just going to take a little, very little, so I'm just going to take this orange one. Bright colors, neon colors are not really encouraged, but um, I'm just going to dab like and just make it, you know. I'm not even going to apply it like in any order or in any way. Just a little like that. Very, very little. Uh, avoid neon colors if you want to look younger. So that's it. Yeah, and I'm not even going to be bothered with um, doing a winged eyeliner, but you can do a winged eyeliner. It does look youthful. It does make your face um, more youthful, basically. So you can do a winged eyeliner. Definitely do the lower mascara. 
and you can put on some lashes lashes uh the big lashes make you look older but i'll still use them but definitely use smaller lashes if you have them it's just that i don't have any smaller lashes now okay i tell you if you're going to do winged eyeliner i think i'm just going to do winged eyeliner because it does make a difference is that you want to start your wing from the inner corner of your eye so you start from here Are you saying you'd want your wing to look like that from the inner corner of your eye? You normally see how leopards or cheetahs normally look? That's how you'd want your wing to look. So that's that. And I think I'll just leave it like this. I'm not going to fill it in with the black. You can opt to fill it in with the black, but I think I'll just... Leave it like that. I'll just make the line slightly bolder. Basically, we are going to... Um, what's next? Yeah, the lip makeup. Because, yes, lips are a very important part of how you look. Definitely avoid reds blues bright colors like greens or basically anything that has color apart from brown and neutral colors so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to apply the same black pencil that i used to draw my all over my lips so blacks browns and neutral colors is okay and i don't mean black like a goth black lipstick These are just ideas of how you can make yourself look more young. For whatever reason you want to look younger for. And I'm just going to like, because it's really harsh, I'm just going to like smear it all over my lips. Not all over, but like, you know yeah create some sort of an ombre effect and then i'm going to take this um matte uh maybelline that was not my best choice of a lipstick but i'll just try and apply it only at the center of my lips and before it dries down i'm just going to try and like blend it in with the other one Yeah, like just before it dries down. Because it dries down really, really matte. This is not fully blended, but... really hard to do this how do people normally do this and i see so many tiktoks girls are just like and then and then it's like wow bam it's blended maybe i should have used a brown a dark brown instead of a black i guess that's the reason but hey Okay, now that that is done, I'm not going to blend it anymore, honestly. <laughs> it may look a bit crazy, but I'm just going to manually blend it. Already the lipstick has dried down. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to... This is something I saw on TikTok, and you know TikTok has a lot of children. So this is something that I'm going to 
oh god i never really i know i'll just apply it uh i'm just going to um this is a trick i saw on tiktok so just apply like the lip gloss only around your lips <laughs> not in the center of your lips oh god it's come off with like the pink lipstick make it look so easy why does it look so easy and when i try it it's like or maybe it's this tube gloss so there is like okay i guess it's done something yes so next we are just going to remove the rest of the powder and apply our final setting powder no we have to do our nose sorry <laughs> we have to do our nose so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take a brush and just like try and contour this nose as best as i can so i'm just going to and for contouring the nose i normally start from up 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 completely i think i did a whole video on that on how I contour my nose. I actually did do a whole video on how I normally contour my nose. Simple, that is it. I've done, I'm done, and I'm actually already through. <laughs> I think that one will actually do. I don't really need a harsh contour. So I start from my brows. Yeah. and i'm done with the nose so next we're just going to do um the setting powder as i was saying and basically this is the main part of looking youthful like we are basically done with the most important parts like the which was basically the hair you have to pull your hair up and tight and uh also the what is it called a simple eyeshadow look no fancy eyeshadow and also a simple lip look no like reds greens blues purples and whatever and i've talked too much because right now we have to like remove the uh, what is the sasha buttercup and also apply the other setting powder and do a little bit of um thing yeah? because i need to like make sure that it's very blended and not uh weird like with lines and all that and as I say, this is a synthetic wig, so I've just tried to lay it, like, I've really forced the laying, you know. And you can even see, like, I didn't even have wig glue to stick it down, but you'll just have to forgive me for that. Because the main purpose of the video was actually to make sure that you're looking youthful, the tips and tricks that are going to make you look youthful. So we are going to remove this Sasha Buttercup. And then we are going to apply the Maybelline setting powder, which is this one, the Fit Me. I normally use caramel, uh, although I don't know whether that is also my shade, but it has been working well. So uh, I haven't, I don't really live in a place where I can test these products, and the app that they are using for testing on Jumia is just, I don't know. Those apps, do they really help? Because I've tried using it and it's not really successful because everything looks like it's blending in. You can tell me if you're a Kenyan in the comment section, if you've ever used the Maybelline app, the one on Jumia, to like look for your shade, did it work for you? Because me, I've tried and all those shades just look good on that app. God, I have like a it's getting cold the weather the climate is changing where I stay so I'm starting to get the sniffles I need like um, what is it called to buy allergy medication and stuff and you really want to keep it simple no harsh lines and all that yeah so as you can see guys it actually does make you look youthful it does those tricks i've told you they oh my god that is disgusting hope you didn't hear that but 
the tricks I've shown you, they actually make you look more youthful. They make you look uh, young. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's do some highlight because I have not. And it is, yeah, let's do some highlight. And I'm also using the Maybelline highlight, which is the Master Chrome highlighter. And I'm just going to like go ham, honestly, with the highlighter. Cool. And I'm using the wrong brushes for the things, but hey. Yeah, okay. That is done. And I think that's also done. So, guys, basically, and when you want to look more youthful, you use things like hoops and all that. So, I'm just going to use, but these are tiny hoops. You know, the youth really love huge things. So, definitely, I'd go with this size slightly. Yay, looking like a teenager fresh from high school. <laughs> wow, oh my god. That's how we lie to ourselves. But, uh huh. So, there, of course, a teenager would not wear such a pendant. This is like an evening wear pendant. But basically, that is how you would look. And I think I've done a pretty good job of trying to slash several years of my years. And uh, yeah, maybe the outfit, not so much. Maybe the, yeah. So, and also the eye bags. <laughs> yeah, but guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. As I've said, make sure to subscribe. I do do a lot of content. Follow me on Instagram. It's Naninga Koe. And follow me on TikTok. It's also Naninga Koe. I spend a lot of time on TikTok and Instagram. And also, definitely here, I also have a vlog channel. Yes, don't ask me how I do all those things. It is tough. Hence the eye bags. Um, yeah, but I do have a vlog channel, which is also called Naninga. This one is called Naninga Koei, and my vlog channel is called Naninga. So you can head on over there if you want to see more about my life. And I'm also currently playing a tabletop game there. So make sure to subscribe for all those. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. It's a lot of work, and uh, I'm putting out content for you guys. That is, if you love my content, I only want fans. I don't want haters. So make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.